Welcome to this introduction video relating to finance in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Let's start by taking a quick look at bank accounts. There is usually more than one way to navigate to a specific menu item. The most common would be via the appropriate module under the navigation pane. For this example, if I select cash and bank management, bank accounts folder, the bank accounts menu item is available for selection. Alternatively, there is a quick search option available on the main page. So if I close this form, I go to the quick search and I type in bank. I get all the options that have has the word bank, as well as the navigation paths. From here, I can also select bank accounts and it returns me to the same form. For each of the different bank accounts created and displayed, further functionality is available relating to the selected bank account, such as transactions, balances, reconciliation functions, as well as payment management. The other method for displaying bank-related details would be using workspaces. Via the bank management workspace, not only are the bank accounts displayed, but also the current balance for each. By simply selecting the relevant bank account, followed by selecting the ba current balance value, the related transactions are displayed. As mentioned in previous videos, these workspaces can be personalized to include additional tiles, links, or lists for menu items or reports used on a regular basis. Now, let's take a quick look at the general ledger module. From the navigation pane, if I select general ledger, I have options to process journal entries, inquiries and reports, which includes the option for your trial balance, chart of accounts, Within the chart of accounts, we have related areas to your main accounts, financial dimensions, and financial dimension sets, your account structures, and funds. Further functionality also exists relating to currencies and currency exchange rates, ledger calendars and fiscal calendars, and lastly, setup relating to ledger, journals, and postings. General journals, as an example, are split into a header section and a line section. There's also an option where Previously posted journals are displayed by changing the view. For a particular general journal, if I wanted to look at the lines relating to it, here I would be able to specify dates. The vouchers can automatically be specified from the number sequence, the company relating to it, the account type being relating to a ledger account, customer account, vendor account, particular project, a fixed asset, or a bank. Similar to that, after specifying a debit or a credit amount, the offset, it can also be a ledger account, customer account, vendor, project, fixed asset, or bank. These general journals, as in all journals in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations, required to be validated prior to posting. 
authorization via workflows can also be associated to general journals. This concludes the introduction to finance using Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Thank you for watching.